hello everyone and welcome back to my youtube channel um i've just finished work it's late i've been working a lot i'm ex i'm exhausted um i haven't put up much videos because i have been exhausted um so i decided tonight because tonight i've arrived home to find that i've got my lip factory box yeah but this is about my lip factory i decided that i'd do my bella box um Reviewish. I've already opened it up and looked at it before, but I've just left it on the side and I've been I'm in hurrying about making video. So here is the video. So I got so I got the one with the new packaging. I actually like it. it looks, looks like a shoe box, and I like that. Um, it's a miniature size shoe shoe box. Um, I'm opening this up. Ah. So it comes with the card that says. Beauty Diaries by Bella Box, and then it does have the wrapping on it, like that, and it says in here, which hair care does Zoe Foster Blake Love look inside to see? No offence, um, okay, I don't follow many artists, I don't follow many people, etc, um, so I have no idea who Zoe Foster Blake is, um, I'm sorry if I'm going to offend anyone, but yeah, um, I don't know who she is. So, and in all honesty, I don't care. What I care is about what I like using on my body um, and stuff. So it may work for her, but it may not work for me. Um, I've heard a lot of um, bad things or people complaining about the sample shampoo and um, conditioner that we got from Protein. I'm not a hundred. I've I haven't really. Bought Pantene before, so I don't know what it's like. It smells like normal shampoo and conditioner. Um, I have decided though, I'm not gonna use it. I might put it up on the beauty box. Up. Oh, I don't know if anyone in the beauty box would want it, but I'll see. You know, for the socks and stuff, I might use that. So that's the first um sample that we got. So it comes in a little box, like that. You open it up comes like that. Like it's heaps of packaging for it. They they're trying really, really hard. And then you've got the two little bottles. Um one's the conditioner, lightweight nourishing conditioner, forty mils, and then it's a forty mil lightweight conditioner shampoo. I might actually keep them and I don't know, I haven't decided. I might actually keep them so if if me and my partner go travelling, I'll just put in my travel bag. So it says on here that the 350 milligrams um, retails at price line for seven dollars ninety nine. So yes, okay. So that's that. Um, then we got a bonus. Um, I'm not too sure. It's very very little. I, I don't even think my face would be able to be covered by this, but. Hey, whatever. It's apparently it's meant to be seventy five grams. Really? Oh wait, sorry, no. Um seventy five grams retails for ten dollars. And this is all you get. And this is the um a bonus and it's a nat naturalist pore pore pure gel. So I'll see how it goes, but it doesn't feel like there's enough there for my face. I don't even know if if it'll be enough for my, both my hands, so I haven't tried it. I'll try it later, I guess. Then the next thing I got that I'm picking up is the Wow. If I do that, yeah, it's a Wow Bath Gel Essential. It's apparently limited edition. Um, wow gives a citrus boost by combining the scent of mandarin and lime together in one delish product. So I've smelt it. It smells uh, smells okay. It's by Romy. Um, so it's a mandarin. So my one's a mandarin and lime. So it's, it's alright. It smells alright. I'm not too sure if I'll use it. I might try it. I don't know. Um, so there you go. Then we got a. I don't know. No, definitely not. Um, I'm not. It doesn't say how big this is, but it's an intensive repair oil skincare TLC. It's so it's called Happy Skincare Tilsi Intensive Repair Oil Green. Um, 100 mils 
milligrams retails at Bell Box for twenty nine seventy. Then second last thing that I got was the Allegra Rhodes Hand and Nail Cream. It's Aussie. Uh, it says indulge your scents and treat yourself daily with this luxurious hand and nail cream available in four gorgeous scents. Um, apparently I got the scent in Aussie. Um, my problem is I normally don't like scented stuff because it um, ends up um, aggravating my dermatolo dermatologist. Um, well, my eczema that I have. Not too sure what that smells like. So normally I don't buy. I, I make sure I always buy non-fragrant ones. But hey, you know, let's try this anyway. Um, so I don't know if I said um 175 milligrams retails for 32.95 at Bella Box. Um, and this is a five mil sample. And last but not least, everyone received one of these. It was the Model Co Party Proof Lipstick in Matte or Cream Matte Color. Apparently, it's meant to be super long lasting, strong pigment lipstick in ultra vibrant hues. Sign us up. So, it you can get a Bella box for $16.95. So, I got the Party Proof Cream Lipstick. So, this one's a full size one. So, um, this is the only full size product I received. Um, I did like the packaging because you get a little mirror. Oh no, I just didn't want to blind you guys, but you get a mirror there. It's all boxed, it has metal co on it. Um my one is incognito. So have it decided if it's a brown or a purple. I haven't decided yet because it's really really dark. And it's even worse on camera, so I'm pretty sure it's a purple. I could be wrong. But that's the colour it is on my hand. I think it's more of a brown. So if anyone can tell me what they think. Like, looking in this light, it's a brown. I'm pretty sure, but... Yeah, so I'll, I'll see how I go with this. Autumn is just around the corner, so... Um, um, I do like experimenting with new colours and stuff. So... I think, I don't know, it's, I don't know if it's a purple or a brown. It could be a reddish brown. Um, I don't know, it's really weird. I can't understand what colour that is. Sometimes to me it looks brown, sometimes it looks to me purplish. So, yeah, um, I'll, I won't put any on now. I'll, I want to wait and see. Um, like during the day or whatever, I'll put it on and I'll let you guys know. Um, so that's a Bella box for this month, for March. Um, and let's see how April goes. Um, I was gonna cancel them because of lack of funds and stuff, but, um, I'm giving them a go. Um, I'll see what happens, but, um, I think after April I won't be, I won't be, um, subscribing to them anymore. Um, they haven't done anything wrong, it's just I, oh, yes they have, and no they haven't. Um, there's only so much that, uh, a company can do um it's one of the cheaper ones out there and stuff um but i'm saying i'm a lot i apologize so it's just all about money at the moment for me and i can't really justify paying bella box not because it's not because it's not that expensive it's just more to do with the fact that like fifteen dollars here twenty dollars there twenty five there twenty there in beauty boxes ends up adding up a lot um, so, yeah, um, so, have a good night everyone, um, let me know what you thought about your Bella Box, I'm not too phased by it, I'm not too happy about it, but I'm not upset about it either, I'm just neutral at the moment, I don't know why, so let's just see what April com um, comes up with. Alright, have a lovely night everyone, bye bye.